I am Courtney B and welcome back to my channel if you guys are an oldie thank you so much for clicking on another video and for always supporting your girl if you guys are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already what are you waiting for go ahead hit that subscribe button and make sure you guys turn on your post notifications so that you will never miss an upload from me in today's video as I promised on one of my previous videos I told you guys that I was planning on revamping this little open area off to the right of me and I wanted to turn that into just like a little seating area like a coffee nook or um, a breakfast area so that's what today's video is all about I searched high and low for some chairs off of my local Facebook marketplace and I got lucky and I was able to find some so today's video I'm going to be re upholstering some chairs and I'm gonna do it all on my own this will be my first time doing it so I'm gonna go ahead and get into this video I wanted to show you guys everything that I purchased that I think I will need for it so I'll start from over here. Um, I just got some thread and I also got, um, these are some craft cover buttons. I got these from Michaels and I'm planning on doing um, tufted chairs. So just like how these are, I just, oh, you guys probably can't see it. Just how these are, I'm planning on tufting the chairs. So that's what I need these for. And then also, I had a hard time trying to find some fabric. I did not want to walk into Joann's and also um, Hobby Lobby and just look for fabric. So I wanted to keep it easy and I got some drop cloth. Got these from Lowe's. I already had a staple gun and I already had staples. So that's what these two are. And then I found some paint from Lowe's and I think this color is Jumping Java. Um, I want to paint like the legs of the chairs and do like a dark color. I want them to be as close as possible to my new chairs. So hopefully this will be a good match. And then also I needed some needles just so that I can um, thread the buttons. So I got these from Walmart. They were like a dollar and change. And then also some adhesive spray. Got some batting. Got this from Walmart as well. And also... I got the foam mattress topper. I got a full size because I got two chairs and I'd rather have too much than too little. So I got this. And then also I wanted to show you guys the chairs that I picked up off of Marketplace. Got them for a steal. I only paid $40 for the chairs. So I'm going to show that to you guys now. All right, guys. So here is the start of the show. These chairs, I actually have another one, it's out in the garage. So like I said, I got both of those chairs for $40 total. And this is a good sturdy chair. I think these are world market chairs. So I got a steal, but these are my chairs and I cannot wait to start trying to upholster and painting the legs. Like I said, I wanted to paint these. This is all I'm really gonna paint is the bottom half of it the dark color i'm hoping i can get it as close to this color as possible if not i will be all right so let's go ahead and get started on sanding down these chairs I just finished sanding both of the chairs and this is how it is looking I did go ahead and sand up just a little bit um, I didn't do the full chair because 
like I said earlier, this part is going to be covered and the seat is going to be covered. So next I'm just going to go over to the side and I'm going to start painting. All right, guys. So I got my Wagner paint gun. If you don't have one of these, get you one of these because they are bomb. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start priming. I told you guys I was going to paint the chairs, but I meant priming. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and start priming. Okay guys, so the primer is dry on both of the chairs and now I'm going to go ahead and paint everything that I primed with this brown paint. So that's what I'm about to do. Okay guys, so it is the next day. I went ahead and I let my chairs dry overnight. So they're all dried and I went ahead and I also sprayed them with the, I think it's polyurethane. I think that's the correct word, polycrylic. I think it's polycrylic. So I sprayed them down with that and they're dry. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and get started on um, the seats. So yeah guys, so first up, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take some of this foam a mattress topper and I'm just gonna cut it to the size of the seat I'm actually gonna go a little bit over and then I'm gonna go ahead and um, apply the spray adhesive to the foam and adhere it to the seat and y'all uh, I did the I got the full size I don't know if I told y'all in the beginning but I got the full size because I'm gonna um, do more than one seat. But if you only have one chair, you can go ahead and get the twin size. Okay guys, so now that I got my foam all laid out, I actually feel like I may end up needing another thing of foam. I'm not sure, but I will be sure to let you guys know in the end exactly about how much of everything that you'll need so now i'm just going to go ahead and get started to cutting everything out okay guys so i already cut my foam out and it doesn't have to be perfect because i'm going to actually staple um it like this but what i'm going to do first is i'm going to go ahead and use my spray adhesive and adhere the foam to the front of the seat and then i'll flip it over everything all stapled down so now I'm just gonna go ahead and trim off all of my excess foam so that's what I'm about to do right now okay guys so I definitely needed another layer of foam and once I put that foam on, I realized that my other side, I had the ripples on top. So I went ahead and I fixed my problem and this is how it's looking. This is two layers of foam and I think it's coming out really good. So next up, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna foam the other seat off camera and then I'll be back to you guys when it's time to do the top part of the chair. Okay guys, so I got both of my seats padded and now it's time for me to go ahead and work on the backs. 
And I did go ahead and I pre-cut my foam. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same steps as I did to the seat. putting my batting on and then we'll put the um, fabric, the cloth, and then we'll start um, sewing the buttons. So I'm about to get started. <music> chairs and I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and show you that I do have multiple holes inside um, the original ones were the smaller holes and I did not like the way that the design was gonna be so I decided to change it up and I wanted to give you guys a little tip when you guys are creating your holes just make them really big and then push it all the way through to the back so that it'll be easier for you to be able to um, start tufting so now I'm about to go ahead and I'm gonna get started on my fabric. I got that all cut out too, I forgot to tell you guys that, but I cut it out, washed it, and ironed it, so I'm about to get started on my fabric. the buttons um, if you guys seen earlier I told you guys that I purchased a button cover kit and that's what this is I just went ahead and cut some of my excess fabric and I just glued it onto the buttons and now I'm just gonna go ahead and start um, tufting the buttons through the chair and I decided to use fishing line instead of the upholstery thread just whatever works best for you. So that's what I'm about to go ahead and get started on now is working on these buttons. Next up, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to 
put the back part on and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the actual seat off camera. It is the exact same way as I did the back part of the chair minus the button. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the back. Okay guys, I am finally done with the chairs and I wanted to show you guys how everything looks. So without further ado, here are my chairs and I am really happy with how everything turned out. I did wanna let you guys know, um, I decided that I wanted some creases or some splits in my chair. So I just went ahead and I cut the little crease marks in and I think it came out really good. And then I also wanted to show you guys the back of one of the chairs, just so you can see the finished product of how the back looks. So I'm gonna turn it around and I will show it to you guys. And yeah guys, so I just decided to trim out around the um, edges and I think it came out really, really good. So yes, this is how the back looks. Let me go ahead and turn this back around. And then comment down below and let me know what do you guys think how did i do um i also have a few more things in mind for this area but that will be for a, another video but that's it guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next time bye